So what's going on guys, it's Jamie, it's Free Boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So Lewison retains his British lightweight title after he stops former British lightweight champion Scotty Cardle in the second round that they fight at the O2 Arena earlier on last night. And Lewis Ritson, you know what I mean? This guy just came out of nowhere and he's just obliterating these guys domestically at um, lightweight, you know what I mean? He battered um, Robbie Barrett, he um, quickly dispatched Joe Murray, and now he's quickly dispatched Scotty Cardell. And this guy's got heavy punching power for a lightweight. And tonight, Scotty Cardell, you know what I mean? He was trying Scotty Cardell. He had a very good first round, Scott Cardell. He was landing some very good shots on Lewis Ritson. That's one thing I can say about Lewis Ritson. Maybe he gets caught too much because he just likes to come forward. And sometimes he's there exchanging with other fighters and he gets caught a little bit. Lewis Ritson at times. So maybe that's something he can work on now that he's a British champion. And now that he's got a little bit of a buzz about him. Maybe tightening up the defence a little bit so he's not getting caught as much. But his style is to come forward and punish guys with big hard hooks. That's what Lewis Ritson likes to do. And, you know what I mean, Scott Cardell, he did well in the first round, it was a very close first round, and people gave it to Scotty Cardell, and then the second round came, and Lewis Ritson just backed Scotty Cardell up to the ropes, managed to shake him, hitting him with a barrage of just lethal hooks. Scotty Cardell was hit with a tremendous shot, he fell back into the ropes, and the referee um, administered a standing count, and Scotty Cardell managed to make it out of that, and then Lewis Ritson just jumped on him, batted him to the head with some dangerous looking shots and Scotty Cardo was about to be knocked out and um, his trainer Joe Gallagher threw in the towel he'd seen the North and Lewis Ritson retains his British lightweight title so you know what I mean this guy's what 24 years old and he's just cleaning up domestically at lightweight right now and Eddie Hearn seems to have a lot of faith in Lewis Ritson but he's still very early in his career he's had what 14, 15 fights, Lewis Ritson, he's very early into his career, he's 24 years old, there's still things he needs to work on, but he is a tremendous puncher, it looks like, D definitely domestic lair, and it'll be interesting to see how far he can go, but Eddie Hearn, I think, needs to match him the right way, and maybe next he fights the winner of Tommy Coyle and Sean Dodd, they're fighting on April 21st, and maybe fight them in a British title, Commonwealth title bout, you know what I mean, try and get both belts on the line, so... Yeah, I've been very impressed with Lewis Ritson. I think he's a fighter with a lot, a lot of potential. He looks like he's a very good puncher at 135 pounds, definitely domestically, like I just said. So, yeah, I look forward to seeing him fight again. Apparently, he's going to be fighting in Newcastle soon on, a, like, a next-gen show. And uh, Newcastle, obviously, is his home city. So, you know what I mean? He's trying to build up a little buzz in his home city because Newcastle has never really been a place for boxing these past few years, obviously you've got Josh Kelly as well, but he's still very early into his career as well. The, a few years ago, he had Bradley Saunders, but he kind of blew his career early on with bad performances and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see how far Lewis Ritson can go. Comment below in the comment section, are you impressed by Lewis Ritson? How far do you think he can go domestic there? Do you think he can go higher than domestic level if he keeps putting on good performances? Do you think he needs to work on his defence? Like I just said, comment below, it's JM, it's Sweetboxing.